Seattle. You should move to West Seattle. There's beaches and views, nice walkable commercial areas, lots of good food and coffee and beer, and it's just got that laid back beach vibe going on. So I guess don't move here if you want the Seattle grunge city life. But anyways, I have lots of errands to do and I wanna take you along so that I can kind of show you all that West Seattle has to offer. I just got some uh, kimchi fried rice from Marination. And the setting here doesn't get much better in anywhere in Seattle. And it's solid. That actually really hit the spot. I was pretty hungry. I have a lot that I want to show you. I've already been running around uh, most of the day today, which is why I'm so hungry. Kendall and I are selling this house in West Seattle, and I'm really excited to show it to you because it's super cool. I had to go pick up the keys today and make a copy and then leave them in the key box, and I will give you a full tour. But first we need to replace the furnace and clean it up a little bit. There used to be a Starbucks on Alki. It actually just closed like a week ago. And I'm not a big Starbucks fan by any means, especially after seeing the new CEO compensation. But I did really appreciate the spot to gather and the view. And I don't know how many local spots are going to be able to afford the rent on this waterfront. So I did visit Ampersand just now, which I haven't been to before. And after a $7 12 ounce cold brew, I realized how they can afford the rent. I'm gonna come down here in a couple days with Kendall and Celie, and uh, we really like just walking this stretch of beach. And maybe we'll act as tourists and uh, get some ice cream or something. I'm running a few more errands for other clients today, and then I'm continuing my quest to fill my backyard with plants and picked up dinner at Trader Joe's, as well as a few snacks, of course. And we tested out our new toaster oven with a quick chicken parm. Then I'm getting ready for the rain and planting some heather, a cranberry bush, and a little cotton Easter. I made a map for you. Now I'm kind of realizing that this shot looks a little bit like I'm in my basement in the middle of the night because that's exactly what's happening. Anyways, West Seattle's huge. There's a ton of these little micro neighborhoods. These are a couple of my favorite. Admiral up here has really pretty houses, a Met Market, really easy access to the West Seattle Bridge. The Junction is kind of the hub of West Seattle. It's where the farmer's market meets and there's a ton of food options around there. Alki is kind of like a beach village. It's got a super laid back feeling. It is kind of touristy, but super fun to visit. Genesee is kind of a sweet spot of like walkability to the junction. A lot of nice houses, often with really good views. Sea View is a little bit quieter. Um, not a ton of businesses around here, but you know, it was really good if you're looking for kind of a neighborhoody feel. Much of High Point is occupied by this green master plan community that's very cool. A lot of townhouses and it's a nice tight knit community. Del Ridge uh, kind of occupies all of this space here. It's gone through a complete transformation over the past couple of years. It's still a little rough around the edges, but I'd say it's one of the more affordable spots in West Seattle. The ferry takes off from Fauntleroy. You can go to Bashan Island. There's also a really massive park on the waterfront. Arbor Heights kind of feels like it's in the suburbs, but it's on the water, so it's super cool. White Center kind of fits into West Seattle, but it hasn't officially been annexed into the city of Seattle uh, after years of back and forth and uh, kind of push and pull. So it's a little rough around the edges, but culturally it's very diverse and very interesting. Medium home prices in West Seattle are hovering right around a million dollars, much like most of Seattle, but I say that West Seattle is probably, um, I don't know, one of the more affordable areas in the city of Seattle, mostly because of access. You know, you can only get here via the bridge or the water taxi, which uh, takes you to downtown. We went to lunch with friends the other day and they were talking about how West Seattle offers the most bang for your buck. And I kind of like that. There's um, a lot of nature, there's a lot of food, there's cool houses. of a disaster. Oh, West Seattle though. I wouldn't mind doing my hot girl walks in the 
the rain. I'm sorry I used the phrase hot girl walk. I, I apologize for that. I've just been trying to get my 10,000 steps and all these people who get 10,000 steps show their lives and they're in like San Diego or Florida and they go out and get a coffee like along the beach. But you know, like I could do that here. I don't mind being wet. I just need a little view. Does this bring you back? Uh, yeah, it does. To half marathon training? Yeah, it was a bit nicer weather there. We parked on one end and ran all up the beach to the other end and it was probably 10 miles. I think the furthest we did was 10 miles. Yeah, for our half marathon training when we were young. Much younger. Than Amazing Anna. place to run. Celia's just running around looking for every single puddle. And we're just there's, there's, there remar there's remarkably quite a few people out. Like there's runners and walkers and a couple of families with kids. Just I don't know if they weren't expecting like the first day of rain or if it's just, I mean, most of us just do this all winter long. We're gonna try and find a hot cocoa. Cause we're wet and cold. It's a hot cocoa. I will be buying an adult size taco rain suit. Oh, definitely. The moment we get home. Definitely. It works so well. It's so like it's thick and hot. quality and waterproof. I put my real chair pants on for this segment this morning, but I'm still wearing sneakers though because Seattle's not a terribly fancy city. We're listing this house for sale. We're pretty close to the Vashon Island Ferry and it's just stunning here. It's a pretty special house and I'm a little sad that my clients are selling it, but I'm also excited to be able to show you all around this whole place. This is a uh, pretty cool street. Down at the end of here is a dead end and it leads to Fauntleroy Park. And here's the house, it's just really cool. We've got kind of like a uh, Cape Cod, Queen Anne, treehouse vibe going on. Look at this shingle pattern. I mean, you don't see this like ever on houses. So you go in and there's this living room. Very pretty. My clients staged this themselves and uh, they did an incredible job. Put in an electric fireplace. We've got two bedrooms down here. They're using it as a kid's room and an office right here. That's pleasant. Bathroom, really pretty. There's a skylight in the tub, which is kind of cool. You get some uh, much needed natural light in Seattle. Upstairs, we've got this primary suite with a very fancy bathroom. I like this a lot. We've got like a soaking tub looking out at the backyard as well as like a normal shower, you know? I like these brass finishes. That's a nice touch. And then the bedroom is really pretty with a cool deck that's also looking over the backyard. And then coming back to the ground floor, we've got this incredible living uh, eating area. Look at this, look at this kitchen. And this island is humongous with a very nice brand new kitchen. So yeah, incredible, beautiful house here. I changed my clothes and grabbed a pizza slice at Belgado, a new-ish Italian deli sort of place, and it looks pretty good. And it is. So this is Lincoln Park, and it's incredible. It's so pretty here. There's just this long boardwalk where you can walk around uh, along the beach. There's a ferry. It's so pretty here. Now, I'm always a big fan of walking paths along the water, but here, 
There's a swimming pool. I should probably get back to work. I have a lot of paperwork to file. Yeah, that's us. We're at the West Seattle Farmer's Market. If you look at Google reviews, this is a lot of people's favorite market in the whole city. Well, it's a good variety. There's a lot of uh, like brick and mortar businesses yeah, like right the next to it, which is kind of nice. It's bustling. Yeah, there's really a lot of people here. I'm realizing that I spend a lot of time on the water during this video, but it's because it's what I love to do. There's also a ton to do just about everywhere. One of my favorite coffee shops over here, CNP, has bluegrass jam sessions like every time I visit. There's a humongous neighborhood garage sale every year. Lots of good food. Here at the junction, it's really fun to just wander into random storefronts, which kind of seems like a lost art in a lot of the glitzier neighborhoods in Seattle. This is just a slice of what West Seattle has to offer. I might retire in West Seattle. Little bungalow within walking distance of the water. Anyways, if you're looking to make a home in Seattle, send us a message and let's work together. Bye.